Meet the Focus G, Fractal Design's entry into the suddenly red-hot and ultra-competitive sub-$50 ATX mid-tower market. Available today in black, white, blue, red, and gray for $49.99 US, the Focus G comes in both the size you see here as well as a micro ATX version. How does it compare with recent releases like the Corsair Spec 04? Let's find out. Fractal is known for their cases with simple and clean lines, no frills exteriors, and super user-friendly interiors. The Focus G bucks the traditional Scandinavian design aesthetic somewhat without going completely overboard. The enormous acrylic side panel window is embossed slightly from the left panel, similar to what we saw on the Spec 04. Unlike the Corsair case though, the raised portion of the panel on both sides is less pronounced and also spread out much further to the edges. This brings a more uniform appearance overall. The front panel of the case consists of a flat white plastic frame with Fractal's unobtrusive logo at the bottom and a sunken grille that spans its entire middle area. The grille is filtered with a soft foam mesh from top to bottom, which should please most clean freaks, although removing the filter for cleaning is basically a no-go. Even the removable 5 quarter inch drive bay covers get the filter treatment, which is pretty cool on a budget case. The front panel pops off by grabbing it at the base and pulling outwards, and doing so reveals the drive bays and also both of the included Silent Series white LED fans. The inclusion of multiple fans here is fantastic, and more than most manufacturers will give you at this price point. If you'd rather go with some different airflow options, you can fit up to a 280mm radiator here instead, and then you're free to move the included fans up to the top of the chassis, which fits either two 120s or two 140s, and can also accommodate a 280mm radiator. The rear fan is limited to a 120mm mount, but even so, it's great to see budget case options getting some water cooling love. The 5.25 inch drive cage is unfortunately non-removable as it is riveted in place, but it's fairly non-intrusive and a mainstay of cases offered at this tier. Along with grommeted openings, the front I.O. connections tend to be the first casualties when companies slap a budget tag on a product, and unfortunately this is the case here as well. We see limited connectivity with only one USB 2 and one USB 3, along with standard audio jacks and a power and reset switch. To be fair, the target consumer for this case isn't likely to need a front panel HDMI connection for their VR headset, however it's entirely possible that they have more than one device that could benefit from a USB 3 port. Flipping the case and taking a look at the base, we see a fairly flimsy but functional and removable dust filter along with these four screws. The screws are a welcome sight as they are holding in the drive cage and indicate that it is indeed removable, an unusual feature on a case that costs this little. As expected, the sleds are made of plastic and do have some amount of flex to them, although they seem to be much more substantial than those included with the Spec 04, and I don't anticipate people running into any issues while using them. The interior of the Focus G looks much like you might expect. You get a nice black painted finish to contrast with the white exterior, a giant CPU cutout, seven expansion base slots, uncovered openings without any crazy jagged edges, and a center motherboard mounting post but no pre-installed standoffs. Fractals also included a rarely used means of attaching a 2.5 inch drive back below the power supply which is reminiscent of how it was done behind the motherboard tray of the Define R4. If you want to swap SSDs at some point, you'll need to remove the PSU to do it as the screws go back through the tray. I'm not a huge fan of this and kind of wish a mount was included elsewhere in the event you don't want to use the drive cage. The rest of the back side of the tray is pretty bare with the exception of five cable tie downs. As with some other budget cases, I wish this wasn't so as unfortunately cable routing depth is at a premium here. There's only about a half an inch of clearance, which is more than on the Spec 04 certainly, but more tie downs would have helped mitigate this somewhat sticky situation, especially for novice builders. Overall, I think Fractal did a great job including some surprising features on a budget case while keeping the appearance classy and not succumbing to the temptation to abandon their simple design philosophy. The Focus G is my recommendation for builders in this budget category, as although more advanced users may find some things lacking, the focus of this product was definitely on quality at an affordable price. I'm Brian with BPS Customs. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, get subscribed to the channel if you are not already, and I'll see you in the next video.